He's been called the greatest poet of the 20th century. But Pablo Neruda was as political as he was poetic, and that often got him into trouble in his native Chile. Now his time as a fugitive is the subject of a new film. It's 1948 in Chile. Pablo Neruda is enjoying the perks of being a poet and senator. It doesn't last long, though. He soon becomes a fugitive for joining the Communist Party. Neruda is a semi-fantastical biopic directed by Pablo Larraín. But he says people wanting to learn more about the life of the Nobel-winning poet should look elsewhere. We, we like to call Neruda, this film, an anti-biopic. We don't intend to, uh, you know, to go out to the world and tell people this is Neruda. I think this is a more Nerudian world. It's about, about who, who he was in terms of his creative process, who, what he created, the cosmos, the universe that he created that is very vast and, and complex that combined politics and, <clears throat> and poetry and food and women and traveling and escaping and, and, and a cup and, and multiple layers and and yes yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna learn exactly who he was but you might have a, an approach from from Latin American people on, on his figure the film stars Gael Garcia Bernal as Oscar a fascist policeman determined to take down Neruda but the adventure turns into a quirky meditation on identity as Oscar changes his views throughout the film. Neruda, played by Luis Neco, teases him by leaving poems behind for the policeman to discover. The poetry of Neruda starts to get to him through the actions, uh, through the through the crime novels that Neruda leaves behind as a trace in a way, and uh, and through the the um, the like the where the transmutation of all of a sudden realizing maybe I'm not a real person or maybe I am or you know that so the, the, he's that kind of character and he represents uh, the the point of view of um, of that extreme um, shocking kind of uh, pushing. Uh, narrative that existed uh, in, against communists in those days. Critics have called Neruda often surreal and incredibly entertaining. It sounds like the poet himself would have approved.